Hello everyone and welcome to Chapter 2 Club, Smart Woman's Guide to Breakups and Everything After. Today I'm here with Washington State Family Law Attorney Elise Bowie of Elise Bowie Family Law and she's going to be discussing tips for cultivating relationships between kids in a blended family. Welcome Elise. Thank you so much for having me. It's nice to see you again. Likewise, let's jump right in. Okay, great. Well, when you think about trying to assimilate a family together, people who have not lived in a family before, yet who are coming together because parents have come together, I think the first tip is you must be mindful that they're probably not excited about this. They probably are maybe even angry about this. They could be upset. They could be confused. They could be worried that somehow you might like the other siblings even better. You know, you might have this nice relationship. They might be worried about replacing their parent. So absolutely, the first tip is to just be emotionally intelligent about how difficult it is. Be sure that you're giving your biological children the time they need one-on-one -on -one and that you're there to hear them and he hear their concerns. Secondarily, I think the most important thing you can do is to not force the issue. I think a lot of us have this idea of, you know, the Brady Bunch and it's all going to be happy and, you know, Jan and Peter are going to get along great. Well, that's just not always the case. So you need to give them time and they need to come to this on their own and they need to develop those relationships organically, not because you're forcing it. And it really means as the parents, you must back off of your expectations of this idyllic Brady Bunch family. And that means if you're having a birthday dinner or you're doing something, maybe they're not all even coming. Oh, shock. Like, but maybe you're not forcing that, especially if you're dealing with teens. Maybe you're saying and you're giving great opportunities like, oh, we're going to this great steakhouse for so-and-so's birthday. We're going to do it at six o'clock on Sunday. And if some of the kids want to come, great. And if they don't, great. It's going to be okay. Don't force the issue and don't make them don't make kids do things and act in ways that are inauthentic. You will actually put a wedge in between these children. They must figure out how to get along, get along on their own terms and be able to find their own comfy spot in being able to relate as step siblings. Some are gonna be closer than others and that's just normal. I mean, we have a family with six kids, four of my biological two step. And I mean, we have some that get along great, some that get along some, I mean, and some that have very unique bonds and they have interests that you know go beyond our family, but you've got to give kids the space to make those relationships. Totally agree. These are great insights. I'm in a blended family myself. Well, my ex has a, you know, soon to be a stepmom for my kids and they don't have, and she doesn't have any kids of her own, but yeah, just the dynamics of blending, just even my kids with, um, with her, you know, has been a, a process. So yeah, I agree. I mean, you know, bringing in kids and kids from two different families is, is challenging, you know, let alone just the, you know, one person coming in. So absolutely. Great. Yeah. Thank you so much, Elise. I appreciate uh, this information and to our audience out there, you can find more resources on our website at chapter2club.com and we'll see you next time. Thank you.